There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Hey, we know that music, that's Apogee. And I recognize those characters on the planet actually. Have I played this before? Oh wow. That poor demonically possessed Teddy. Uh, blah blah blah. Age over the... Yep, yeah, we're all over 25 here, presumably. So, they make adult games. Huh. Do you see our work as art? Yeah, a lot of people back then didn't see video games as art. And it is a form of art. So we've got a jaunty sort of piano, courtesy of our uh, uh, SGM sound font. Uh, Boppin by Accursed Toys. Okay. And here's our menu. So we've got instructions, credits, high score. Yeah, let's look at the instructions. Why not? Use the physics of Boppin to free monsters and beat the Honey Buns clan. We're freeing monsters? Wow. Look at that guy's name, Yeet. The, or is it Veet? I think it's Yeet. Huh. So they're, they're two different things. And all right, let, let's, let, let's give it a go. Oh, there's a lot of explanation, which is nice, I guess, but we'll go through our blind playthrough. Nobody wants to see me read all the instructions, you know? Uh, bothersome honey buns. Okay, that piano is starting to get on my nerves. There we go. Trillions of universes, some vast, some but small pockets in space-time drift through the absolute elsewhere. I see. Um, are we going to continue? May as well set a timer here. Um, each universe is created and maintained by the minds and wills of those beings that inhabit them, or by the dreams of others in neighboring universes. Wow, this is all very cosmic. Uh, Okay. Right. Huh. Hey, Boik, all the monsters are gone. What do you mean, yeet? There are no monsters in this game anymore. See for yourself. Huh. So, all the monsters have been great gooey goddesses. <laughs> so, they have to fix this. Pac-Man, Jerome the Galactic Hero, Victor Vector, Blub and Blob, right, okay. Gynandria the Generic Elf. <laughs> and Pete Pixelhead, right. Okay, so there's a big old uh, setup. You know, fair play to the game. I, I don't recall seeing any of that when I played it way back in the day. Because I think, I think I have played this. Let's see. Right. So, you can go left and right. And... You can ride an elevator. Um, that's nice. The music's pleasant. Right, I remember now. So I'm holding space. And I'm throwing left, and I let go. And that was awful. <laughs> so, there, there's a way of summoning an elevator, isn't there? There it is. So it's the same as shoot, except you hold the shoot. Right. Oh, you idiot. Well, that was no good, was it? Oh, we can just go back and forth completely defeating the purpose of that whole elevator thing. Maybe it was just to show us the elevator. Oh, I'm really poor at this. Out of practice, you see. Right, that has to work. There we go. I am free! So, we, we rescued a monster. And... Oh... He did not do well there. Or rather, I didn't do well for him. There. 
Now we're getting somewhere. What if I shoot that there? Yes, that worked. Getting the hang of it now. Matter of time. So if it's next to something like that, it won't match. So presumably if we put that there, that'll work. Then we'll get another wee flower. And we'll bring that over. And we just about made it through that level. <laughs> so our points have gone up and we're warped to the next level. Okay. That, that seems fairly self-explanatory. Okay. This, this seems fairly simple, you'd think. Uh, we'll take the elevator up. And that didn't work. Hmm. Okay, that music is, uh, is less than wonderful. That didn't work. Hmm. So do we have to use the elevator somehow to... Hmm. Didn't take long for this to confuse me. All right. So you use the uh, the little furnacey things. Oh, lovely little red eyeball. Lovely. So you use the little furnace things to bounce the blocks off into the appropriate place. Well, that's simple. That's easy. Even I can do that. There appears to be a bit of slowdown and speed up with the music. I'm not sure if that's a technical issue on my end or whether I haven't set the cycles count right. But yeah, this is uh, quite addictive. The music, eh, I've heard better, you know. But I'm loving the art style and uh, the, the, the general sort of puzzle elements aren't annoying me. It's very simple. All right. So we need to take that in there somehow. But how is the question? This could be the end for us here. Let's call that elevator. Oh, there we go. Um, do, do we bounce it off the monkey's head? Apparently not. And I have a bad feeling, yeah, this guy's probably going to kill himself here. Yep. <laughs> this is going to be graphic. Oh, nasty. To continue, click button. Oh, well, it's very forgiving. It's like, yes, you were an idiot, but it's okay. Wait, can I just throw that in there? I can throw that in there. Huh. Give us a harp. Okay, a monkey head. That's not what we needed. I don't know why I'm doing this whole ele- Oh my god, I threw it away. <laughs> I was too busy trying to summon the elevator. What if I just threw that in there? There we go. Easy peasy. And I can't get past that monkey head, so I have to use the elevators. No. Can I get that cup in there? Maybe, maybe not. Yes. I don't warp round in this level, so I have to use the elevators. And I can't get past that monkey head, so yeah. It's it's a little convoluted in that respect. Oh, and I threw it away again. This is really not the best example of this game, is it? There we go. I don't need to get past the monkey head for that one, right? Hmm. That was a terrible shot, James. Right, if I can just... There we go. Right, that makes things a little easier. Right? So if I just aim that right. Oh, what am I doing? You're watching a puzzle expert in action here. Uh, eh, what? Does it have to be beside it? Why, why is that not matching? Look. I, I literally threw that at the thing. All oh, right, it has to be beside it. You can't just bounce it off. It has to be just beside it like that. Well, I survived that level. Only just, but I survived. Okay, on to the next one. Hey, a crystal thing. We'll take that for extra score. 
and should we just do a heal Mary? Yes. Just threw it out there. See what would happen. I think we can do that again. Yes. Oh, this is much simpler. Look at that. This is probably going to be the end of me now. Uh, can I can I pick that up? Yes, I can. I think if I approach from this side. There we go. Perfect. All right. So I hadn't made any mistakes there, and the game rewarded me not with an extra life or anything, but. Is this colour based? Please tell me it's not colour based. I mean, they all look the same to me. We freed another monster! I mean, this seems too simple to be true. Is this like a bonus round, I wonder? Having said that, we make one mistake and we're doomed, so... Let's go for a corner shot. It's like snooker, you know? Well, I'm glad you're a free monster. Uh, I don't think that's a good shot. Let's bring it out here. There we go. I'm getting the hang of it now, you know? It's not really much more to say. It's just, it's almost entirely driven by the arrow keys and the space bar. Now, we're gonna have to bounce this off. Uh oh, that's not right. Yes, I thought that was the case. It's it's like if you've ever played pool or snooker or anything, it's teaching you you have to bounce it off the walls to really make a difference. Oh, that was a good shot. That actually made me look decent at this game. <laughs> Is that perfect? No, because it knows I had to pick up one of the shots. Yeah, this is going well so far. Oh, sushi. I'm enjoying the different themes. So, can we bounce that off and... Oh, no. That was a mistake. He's going to kill himself now. And rightly so, to be honest, with a shot like that. Yeah, not great. See, I thought those walls would bounce, but apparently there is no walls. There are no walls. Give us more sushi. It's not the first time I've said that. Let's see. If I get that sushi roll... Oh, where can I even put that? That's a difficult one. Yeah, that's not going to work. What about there? No. Little further over. Whew. Um, does it have to be on the table, I wonder? Stick that there. No, it doesn't. It just has to be adjacent to it. Or next to it, whatever. Let's see. Can I make that shot? Yes, I can. And as you can see, because I died, my points have been reset. But that's okay. The game is quite forgiving with the whole credits thing. It just lets you play on at the same level with... I'm going to try a real awkward shot here. Oh, yes. This is good. I'm enjoying this. Bapping. Oh, dear. See, I got too cocky there, as per usual. James does something well. Then he, he, he overextends himself. And uh, he makes a fool. See, that's not going to work. Hmm. Can I get it from there? Now I'm going to have to stick it next to that one. Yeah. The, uh, the walking sound with the guy is just very faint. Oh, <laughs> I moved away from the thing so if it hits the floor it blows up so if it comes at you you have to make sure you're in you're in the right spot to catch it you can't just move on it's interesting there we go hey oh it's it's not actually a thing we have to match it's just an extra bonus thing there we go oh a little bit further and level done oh he's he's excited about that I don't see us uh, getting any monsters there. Oh, wow. This is different. Um, so we've got an elevator. Uh oh. Yep, this is going to be the end, I think, for my bopping adventures. Yeah, there's no elevator there. 
we need to get that in a two spot. That is not how to do it. <laughs> Give us another one and we'll try that again. There we go. Now that we've cleared that one, we can fire that along to a two position. And then the other one is by that elevator there. So if we can just... Oh no, that was a mistake. You see my uh, spatial and logical problem solving skills here are just abysmal. Right, we'll do that again. There we go. I don't think we're going to complete this level, but yeah, this has been fairly entertaining to be honest. Mystery spot, 10 times score. Oh, thank you, I guess. So is this a timed thing? The, uh... oh no. Um, we've done the worst possible thing we could have done there. And we've got the uh, the square trapped. And our bopping guy is not pleased by this. He's tapping his foot. He's waiting. Is there any way to avoid this? I'm not sure there is. Oh, it blew up. And so did our chance of... Uh... There we go. Our chance of getting extra score. You know, I think we might be able to get this level. I'm surprised. I have to admit though, the music, it's starting to grate on me a little. This is not something I could play for any great length of time. Come on, fit. Oh no. So there, there are obvious slowdown issues here. Probably something to do with the cycles count. Yep, I think we'll leave it there. So that's Boppin'. Who would I recommend it to? Puzzle fans? You know, I played Chip's Challenge not that long ago and uh, I was mildly surprised by that and entertained by that. And Boppin's another one where it's like it's a puzzle game, but uh, it's kind of grabbed me. Though I'd recommend setting the cycles kind of a bit higher than what I've done here. You know, just so everything's smooth and there's no slowdowns. But yeah, I can see puzzle fans getting a lot of joy out of this game. And if you like watching me play puzzle videos, then feel free to check out my Chips Challenge video. I've got hundreds of other videos from all kinds of random genres in the DOS gaming world. So feel free to take a look at those. And if you like them, hit subscribe. Cheerio.